Ask Your Government the Six Question campaign is the largest comparative testing exercise involving requests for budget information ever conducted. Led by Access Info Europe, the Center for Law and Democracy, and the International Budget Partnership in 80 different countries around the world, the testing exercise involved making the same six requests for information to governments in three thematic areas. Talking about her organization's experience in monitoring the right of access to information is Helen Darbyshire, Executive Director of Access Info Europe. So the main challenges in implementing the Six Question campaign were, first of all, that it was a very large project carried out in 80 countries. And we had 80 partner organizations, as well as the substantive expert partners who set the questions. So it required quite a lot of logistics coordination. We had a very clearly defined protocol about what everybody should do. And we had two coordinators who spent uh, quite a lot of time chasing up the partners, making sure that they provided us with information on time, making sure that they were submitting the requests and processing the responses, following up with the government bodies if need be. Um, so just a project of this scale in itself is a challenge. Then I would say the second challenge perhaps is as information starts coming in from government bodies, having your substantive experts do the analysis. Because not all of our partners on the ground were expert in all the three areas, environmental, protection, maternal health, and international aid and development funds. So they couldn't always do the analysis of the answers and they weren't always sure how to classify the responses. Was this a complete answer or not? So we had to then make sure that we coordinated with the substantive partners to get them to classify the questions. And I guess I'd just add a, a final last challenge, which is getting the governments to answer the questions. We had a policy of asking each question three times, and still we had a large number of countries who did not respond um, at all to the questions, and only around 20% of really complete answers. So th th there's a huge challenge in accessing information still, which can seem to be frustrating for the partners, but of course that's part of the advocacy goal that we're doing, is to identify that problem and um, raise concerns about it. To get a true picture of the right of access to information, ask more than six questions um, so that you can draw some serious conclusions about respect for our right to know. Um, and the second piece of advice is that if you're asking questions across a large number of countries about a similar issue, you still have to take into account the differences in each country in the formulation of your question and in which body you send it to. So for example, for us, we were asking questions about training of midwives. In some countries, this happens from the national level, that's where the budget is spent. But in other countries, the budget is spent at the regional level or local level, and the central authorities didn't have all the information we were looking for. So we really should have submitted the requests at different levels of government according to the country. That kind of background research is very important before embarking on a large request monitoring of this nature to make sure that you get answers which are actually meaningful rather than we just don't hold the information.